up guys so welcome to the channel or welcome back for those of you returning sorry it has been a minute since I posted a video on my channel so for those of you that don't know I am from Minnesota and lately we've just been getting hit with tons of snow I've been super busy with work among a lot of other things and with daylight savings time now it basically gets dark out before I'm even off work so finding time to fly has been difficult to say the least but today we're gonna be talking about some products that I recently received from Vifly I think it's pronounced so first of all I just want to give a thank Thank you to Vifly for sending me a couple of their products to try out. I very much appreciate it. So they sent me three products to try out and one of them I'm going to be saving for a future video and that is the Vifly Finder Mini. It's basically a buzzer for your quad so like if you go down it basically starts beeping and it makes it easier to find your quad. And the reason I'm saving this product for a future video is you may or may not have seen that Armaton recently released a new frame, the Armaton Bobcat and what that is is a sub 250 gram four inch long range frame and since it is a long range frame I think this product is going to be most useful on a build like that because it is extremely small and light and there's just more potential for losing a long range build so I think this is going to be most useful on a build like that so that is why I'm going to be saving this for a future video. Besides the beeper they also sent me one of their uh, Vifly store safes which is a smart lipo discharger and they also sent me the Vifly short saver 2 which is basically a smart smoke stopper. So that's cinematic sequence you saw at the beginning of the video was filmed a while ago but it was basically me replacing the VTX on my Cinerat and, and when I powered up the Cinerat after replacing the VTX everything worked fine but I'm not always that lucky I've been building and flying for like three or four years now and even to this day I still have builds go up in smoke just from a simple mistake that I overlooked that I could have prevented oh my god Hold on one second. So having a smoke stopper on your bench is an essential tool to making sure that you don't damage any of your new or existing builds after you perform repairs on it. So this basically is gonna act like a fuse. So if there's something shorting out or drawing too much current and the smoke stopper notices that there is an issue, it is gonna break the circuit and cut power to the quad before any damage is already done. So today basically I wired up this little VTX and camera setup and this is what we're gonna be testing the smoke stopper on. So we have have our VTX and camera set up here and I've already tested this to make sure that it works but I'll just go ahead and show you guys so that you can see as you can see on the screen here everything is working just like it's supposed to make sure we're doing this right so what we're gonna do unplug this we're gonna plug the battery into the short saver firstly the yellow LED is on that means short saver 2 is ready to work Okay, so we're just gonna leave it at one amp to be safe. There's a one amp or a two amp current threshold. I'm just gonna leave that at one amp to be safe. So you have a button here. If you press that once, if that's on that blue light, that means you're on the two amp threshold. You press it once again and you are at the one amp threshold. So then what you do is you plug in your device and then you press on. Uh-huh, I wanna press off. Cool, so it basically acts like a switch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this XT30 and I am going to swap it backwards. And then we're gonna plug it in with a smoke stopper and see if the smoke stopper does what it's supposed to. Let's go ahead and give this a try. All right guys, so as you can see here, I now have the XT30 wired up backwards to the VTX. As you can see, the XT30 is wired up correctly and the VTX is hooked up backwards. So we're gonna go ahead and plug our 3S LiPo into the smoke stopper. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the VTX. Let's plug this monitor in just in case something does happen and we can see it. Here we go. Let's cross our fingers. Hmm, it showed a green light. That's weird. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, let's hook the VTX up the correct way and see if it works. Okay, so I've gone ahead and hooked up the VTX back the way it is supposed to be. So we're gonna cross our fingers now and hope that this VTX still works. Maybe I should have looked to see if it uh, will prevent anti-polarity because that's pretty much all I did was just hook the thing up backwards. Will it turn on? Hey. 
and still works. So the VTX does still work. It's weird that the green light came on because I feel like it should have detected something. So I wonder if there's like reverse polarity protection built into the VTX or something. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just put a big glob of solder on the positive and negative and just, just straight up short it out and see if, if that causes this thing to prevent power to go into the VTX. That should be good enough, I think. There's a nice big glob of solder on there connecting the two. So let's try plugging in the smoke stopper one more time and see if it saves the VTX. Okay, so we're gonna put it at one amp threshold. All right, here goes nothing. Let's power this thing on. Oh, okay. So the screen did come on, but it did give me the red light. So it, it indicated that there is something wrong and that needs to be addressed. So let's go ahead and fix the short and see if the VTX still works. Okay, so we've gone ahead and rehooked up the VTX without the short. So as you can see, everything is hooked up properly. Sorry about the shoddy soldering job. I'm just doing this as quick as possible for sake of the video. So let's go ahead and hook this back up and just triple check to make sure it works. Plug in our VTX. Hey, still works. So everything still works like it's supposed to, so that is great. So that just really goes to show how powerful one of these things can be on your bench. So if you ever, you know, make a mistake or if there's like a manufacturer defect even, this is going to prevent you from doing any further damage to your components. I hooked it up backwards and it still gave me the green light, which was kind of weird. So I wonder if there wasn't like some reverse polarity protection built into the VTX, but I also just straight up shorted the power and ground right to the VTX and it was able to cut the power to the VTX before any damage was done. The VTX still works exactly like it's supposed to. So great product, Viafly. Uh, I would definitely recommend this to anybody who builds quads, whether you're a beginner or whether you've been doing it for years. It doesn't matter how experienced you are, you're still able to you know, make mistakes and things happen. So it's definitely something that is essential that you wanna keep on your bench. So another thing this would be useful for that I thought of would be if you were binding like an FR Sky receiver. If you've ever had to bind an FR Sky receiver, you know it's kind of a pain because you have to like hold down a button with one hand and then plug in an X. 60 with your other hand. This would make it a little bit easier because now you would just have to hold down the button on the receiver and then press one button on the smoke stopper to give power to the quad. So I want to talk a little bit now about the Vifly Smart Dischargers. What these are for are for discharging your LiPos to storage voltage if you plan on storing them for a little while. I actually did a test comparing the Vifly Discharger to one of these LiPo killers because I was under the impression that these would basically drain your LiPos all the way to zero, but it turns out that is not the case. These will actually stop at storage storage voltage while like one of these lipo killers will basically drain your lipo all the way to zero so you have to really monitor it and make sure you don't over discharge it because that's a really easy and fast way to damage your lipos but i did a test comparing the two and the Vifly smart discharger did discharge quite a bit faster than the lipo killer i stopped the test once i realized that these stop at storage voltage they're supposed to stop at about 3.85 volts per cell give or take but it did discharge a little bit faster than the lipo killer while it was discharging charging the lipo. What I actually should be comparing this to is the ISDT smart discharger because that's what this does also. It just discharges the lipos to storage voltage. There's no way to actually drain them all the way to zero. The only reason you would ever want to drain a lipo all the way to zero is if you were going to like be disposing of it because it was damaged. Essentially these smart dischargers can accomplish the same thing that these ISDT dischargers can do. The only thing you can't do with the Vifly dischargers is control the rate at which you discharge the lipos but there is also a significant difference between the price of these two. The ISDT discharger is like 35 bucks while one of these will run you closer to seven bucks. And the smoke stopper runs like 11 or 13 bucks depending on where you order it from. So both of these are under 15 bucks. You could pick up two of these for 15 bucks. So I really think these are both great products and they're definitely something that everybody should have on their bench because you should always have a way to discharge your lipos in case you're not gonna be able to fly them if it's like raining or something. Whatever the case may be, you don't wanna leave your lipos charged for a long period of time. It's always best to leave them at storage voltage and smoke stoppers are always an essential tool to use when you're performing maintenance or doing any sort of building on your quad. It's always best to use a smoke stopper to make sure you do not do any damage to your components. So that's gonna conclude this video. I will have links in the description to all of these in case you guys are interested in checking them out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you like the video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at luke.sheb and I will see you guys in the next one. Ha <laughs> ha